While there is no cure for ALS, it doesn't mean those diagnosed are ready to give up the fight. I met a young woman, 24 years old, who knows ALS will one day end her life, but decided early on it would not be her life. Alexis Crow loves family, friends, and adventures. Her smiles are bright, and she especially loves to laugh. I knew immediately something was wrong. One day, her mother, Cressida, noticed something odd. And she went to reach for something in the refrigerator, and she had her fingers curled up. Doctors seen tests were run, and in 2013, on her 20th birthday, a diagnosis no one wants to hear, Alexis had ALS, better known as Lou Gehrig's disease. There is no cure, no real treatment. In life, you have these expectations. Of course you do. So you grieve. You grieve, and then I realize I'm just grieving what my expectations were. They all had a choice. Live the disease, or are we just going to live with the disease? Are we going to die with Alexis, or are we going to live with Alexis? Alexis was the first to accept her diagnosis, but she was going to live it her way. In Texas at the time, she made this video to put a face to ALS. If I could tell people one thing about ALS, it would be that we're people and it's important to view us as that. She also started a blog called A Little Smile, which focuses on all the things she has to be grateful for. Can you show us some of your work that you've done so far? I caught up with Alexis in Golden, where she now lives at the age of 24. She was quick to show me the artwork she loves to create. On most days, she and her mom roll into downtown Golden, talk to the locals, and buy her favorite food, brownies. This one is nuts. Cressida calls her daughter a true unicorn. It's unheard of for women her age to have ALS. She's thought to be the youngest in Colorado. It typically targets older men. Through awareness, that's where we can generate funds and donations and, and what we have to, to find treatments. And at most, inspire others to live. A meaningful message she got early on from their doctor. He said, the happiest people live the longest. I think that's really true, Karen, of anybody, not just people diagnosed with ALS. My hope is that people can live their happiest lives and figure out what that means for them. And gratitude, gratitude is primary. Well, if you're moved by Alexis and her spirit and drive, I hope that you'll join me for the Walk to Defeat ALS coming up Sunday, October 1st at Sloan's Lake. Sign up starts at 9 a.m. The walk kicks off at 10. You can join my team, CBS4 Hope, or just sign up and walk. And who could not be moved by Alexis? I know. She's incredible. Yeah, her she really is incredible. And, and I love what she said. It's just that people might see us in the wheelchair, obviously really struggling. But our minds are all there. Right. Say hello, chat, chat yeah, us up. We want to be true. Exactly, right? exactly. Yeah. So uh, something to remember. She's just fantastic, and good for you for spreading awareness Thanks, after Jeff. that tragedy.